So good morning everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess here to do your daily read and see what's cracking for Thursday um, 13th of September. I'm sorry, like I said, I'm terrible with dates. I have to write them up. People always go, oh, you know, women are so good at remembering, you know, anniversaries and birthday. What a load of... No, I'm not. Terrible with... I have to mark everything on the calendar. I have a great memory, but just not for dates. So, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I'm extremely humbled by having everyone on board. My subscriptions are rising daily and <laughs> I'm still so excited when I see it. I think I'm excited mostly because I love that people are getting something from this and although I've been sort of led to do this for such a long time it really did take a lot for me to pluck up the courage and do it and now I feel amazing from it so thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet then you need to know that I would love to have you on board so daily reading I'm not sure what I'll do for the bonus read. I'll have a little chat to Spirit after I've finished here and see what they'd like me to do. But for the moment, let's see what's cracking for Thursday. Okay, bottom of the... Oh, Thelema deck this morning. Thelema. Which is the one... The real. It's really ethereal. It's very fairy-like. So we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles talks about working towards something. It talks about producing, um, having an idea in mind, uh, taking to your craft. So you could be starting your own business here. Um, it could be just working towards something that you really love or something that you want. So it can be, even though it's pentacles and it sort of seems a bit money-like, sometimes it talks about other things. Like it could be working towards your own house, working towards something that brings you satisfaction but that's what we've got for the general energy for today okay first card out of the gate the five of swords okay it could be that you're having problems with a relationship it could be that you're having problems at work or with the business there's certainly a a, a feeling of um not being on the same page as others. Sometimes this card can be winning at the cost of others. Um, but it feels to me more like sort of this bickering energy, um, especially because it's swords and swords talk about words and ideas. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles there, maybe you're having trouble getting on the same page with something, even though you're putting a lot of work in. Um, I guess this also can talk about that you've sort of either walked away from something and you've taken something with you and left stuff behind. There are no dead people in this picture as there are on some of the other decks. So obviously you've killed nobody through it. So that's a good thing. Um, okay, so you're moving away from something here and you're working on something else. So maybe you're walking away from a job to work on a business, very possible, or you're, you're looking to have another business. Okay, and then the Justice card comes out and it feels to me like whatever this is, you haven't had or you may be just attaining this feeling of balance. So maybe you've had to walk away from something that you've put a lot of work into because you've been seeking something more balanced. Perhaps there was no give and take in this, this particular thing for you. Because sometimes we work at things very, very hard, like in the Eight of Pentacles, but we never seem to get what we want. Because the other party, whether it's work, love, relationship, the other party doesn't put in the work we're putting in. And it's really important for it to have this. Because if you're both not putting in the energy, it ain't going anywhere, quite frankly. Or you end up creating a toxic situation because you're putting in and the other person's not. Or you're putting it all into work and the other people are not. But whatever it is, if this balance isn't there... Um, you can create toxicity. So in this particular picture, you see somebody with a set of scales, and this can represent the sign of Libra. But if you can see, she's trying to make sure that everything is balanced here. Okay. 
All right, the next card out is the Four of Swords. It's a pretty heavy reading this morning, guys. Okay, Four of Swords talks about taking time out now. You're taking time out. The swords here represent your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences, all those sort of things. So obviously now, because of this situation, you need to take time out to rethink what do you want and where do you want to go. So it is making sense. As you know, I love a good story. Um, it looks like you've put a lot of effort into something and perhaps you've been either bickering with someone about them not putting their energy in or it just isn't feeling good for you. So you may have won the relationship, but maybe you haven't won the love you wanted. Um, it could be that you got the job, but it's not the job you wanted. Whatever it is, the Justice card is telling me that you need more balance here. And this is showing you now taking time out to find that balance. Okay, so the next card in the Page of Pentacles, yes. <laughs> You're taking your pentacle and running people. Um, the Page of Pentacles can talk about uh, it, no, it's, it's a young, new, fresh energy. And I feel like you're taking this pentacle because you're going to invest it somewhere else. Because where you've currently got it invested, you're not getting this payback that you should be. Okay? So this can relate beautifully to anything. But whatever it is, you are now taking the time out, you're taking your pentacle, and you're taking it somewhere else to start something new. Because quite frankly, reading these cards, you're a bit pissed off with the situation. There, look at this. Brand new start. So whatever it is, you're leaving it alone, you're walking away and you're starting again. But this time, you're starting again differently. This time, you're starting again with your truth. You're starting again by ensuring that you're not keeping anything in your life. You're cutting out what doesn't serve you. Because we have this up here which represents like a crown. So you're rewarding yourself here by starting again. Ooh, nice. I like that. Okay, next card out is temperance. Yes. Okay, now you're getting the balance. Now you're understanding. Now you can take these lessons that you learned in the Five of Swords by walking away. Now you can take these lessons and put them to good use because now you have this balance you've been seeking. You couldn't find balance in the situation, but now you have it on your own. So now you're walking forward to something better in the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and yes, you look at the strength. What an amazing reading. So you're walking forward with this intent. The strength can rep represent a Leo. So if you're dealing with a Leo, it could be a relationship reading, whether that's family or whether it's love, it applies just as easily. But what you're doing is you've tamed this beast within you. You've tamed this ability to see what it is you want. You have understood how to bring this balance back in by getting rid of that which no longer serves you. So off you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's a king of pentacles here. So sometimes I see this coming in and I always say to you it's, it's almost like sometimes it feels like a person, sometimes it feels like your energy. And yet, in this reading, I feel like it can go either way. So either you are making your way towards being in this energy. And the King of Pentacles, look, he's got the pentacle now. So maybe you've gained so much strength from this experience and you know where to put this strength now. Look at you, nursing it. You have this look on your face that you know you've done the right thing. It sits with you now. You're absolutely in your element. You're grounded, you're balanced. You're everything that's good about being a king of pentacles. If this is a person, which you could very well be, maybe this is the person who's going to offer you that pentacle. So if this was a relationship or something that you've walked away because it wasn't serving you or something that you weren't getting a balance in or somebody else wasn't putting something into, I feel like they're coming back with this better offer after the Page of Pentacles. So it may be that they've had to step up their game and present you with what you deserve. I'm thinking that's what it feels like. Okay, then we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, because your wishes are here. So really, people, this is exactly what's happening here. You're walking away from something that was just not good enough whether it was not good enough at work, good enough in your family, good enough in life or love, you walked away from it, you've regained balance in yourself, you've realised your true worth and now your wishes are coming true. 
because that particular situation is coming back with a better offer. Ooh, nice. Okay, and then look at this. Da-da, the lovers. Getting what you want now, guys. Getting what you want. Now, if this is a love situation, straightforward stories there. Can't, can't take it away from that story. This is what you were after and you're getting it. If it's a work situation, then quite possibly, yes. If it's a work situation, it brings in transformation. So maybe you go in, because often the lovers talks about choice. So when I see it come out like that, I want a little bit more information and I get the transformation card. So for people who are watching this because they want to know about their career, this is talking about you going back into something new with a very different mindset. You will not let people treat you poorly anymore. You will stand your ground like in the King of Pentacles and you will not put up with anybody's crap, which is brilliant. So whether it's career or love, that's a really, really good reading because you have learnt your value. And me, I'm all about your value. I want to see you learn by what happens to you. It's very important that you walk away and learn from experience. Okay, and card for the day. Oh, how funny is the lovers. And it talks about there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So this sort of fits with the reading as well. I love how they do this. It just never ceases to amaze me. Okay, so... If it's love you're after, then you have the choice to go back and love this person or you have the choice to walk away. If it's a work situation, you have the choice to walk away from the job or go back to a job with a completely different mindset. You need to understand your value. If somebody's changed the offer that they made to you that was too small, too little, inadequate, whatever, you need to make sure that when you go back, that that person's offer stands in its truth because you deserve it. Thanks, guys.